Hello folks, welcome back to Mega Man 4, Mink here, continuing right where we left off before, well, after a little bit of a short pause to hopefully calm down a little, but yeah, as I thought, this is the auto-scroll stage of the game. And here we have uh, Spark enemies from Mega Man 2, uh, I'm pretty sure this game calls them something a little bit more convoluted. Oh. I didn't want to be down here. <sighs> we'll make do, I guess. If you can manage to hit those things as soon as they scroll onto the screen, they're not that bad. The trick is actually doing so. I'm tempted to bring out the flash stopper. Oh, thank you for the extra life. I'll probably need it. Drill bomb or ring boomerang. Let's use the ring. Oh, now to continue the auto scroll portion. This time we get special platforms, I believe. <coughs> That will continuously fall as long as you stand on them, but if you rapid jump, they will continually rise. And of course that will come into play later. That opportunity to the dust. Would have liked to have that. Oh well. Again, I guess I'm not allowed to have nice things. this game anyway. I got a whole standing on it to fall thing will come into play here shortly. In fact, with this platform here, where we need it to fall before the screen catches up. And there you go. And to get in there, you need the, blo the balloon. Uh, now we get to fight the Cockroach Twins, as they are for some reason called. And hopefully I can do a little better than the stupid room. Wasn't sure if you were able to hit them on the side. Nice to know that you can. That'll make this a little bit easier. And there you go. That wasn't too bad. Not that hard of a boss, honestly. <coughs> Ooh, bit of a long one this time. But, that'll be next time. Until then, this is Mink saying goodbye.